Morning JW, thank you very much for joining. You're the first, good to have you on board, happy Sunday. Just sorting out my ecosystem. Are you riding today outside or virtually? So welcome to Bike Racing Without Mercy. It's Sunday morning, obviously, sorry, my apologies. Um, yesterday, Chris, Australia, Melbourne, hope all's good out there. Certainly gotta be better than it is out here in Europe regarding this coronavirus. Have you been out on the Edmonda? Anthony, good to have you. Thanks everybody for joining. So today, it's the um, Sand and Sequoias stage two. I've never really ridden it. So I had a little wreck, well, ridden it while concentrating. Obviously I've ridden the, uh, the sand bit, the Tempest Fugit flat, but I'm not often concentrating on what the course is up to. So I had a little recce this morning, and I reckon because the Sequoias bit is kind of undulating and climbing, that's where it's all gonna go down. Old Slow, good morning, happy Sunday. So what I'd appreciate is people's advice on tactics and all that kind of stuff, because I keep getting it wrong. JW, three to four hour ride inside, nice. Building the power and the endurance. I may do a bit of zone two after this. I did 22 and a half kilometers before because I wrecked the course. It's quite a difficult undulating final 10, 11 kilometers in. Um, so I think it might be better suited to me in terms of my lower weight. Nice one, Chris. Oh, it's bad, oh, just as bad out here. Nice, nice steady effort. Keep yourself fresh. Nice one, I'll say, where are you gonna be riding today? You gonna do another Alp the Zwift? Gonna bring up the FTP above the two watts a kilo? Radislaw, top of the morning to you, how are you? Hi, Paul's good. So I had a race yesterday, an outdoor crit. It was a Cat 3, and it was on a kind of undulating course, one of the ones you've seen much earlier in my kind of race series. And people wouldn't go fast enough to kind of create a selection, but when I broke off the front, I didn't have the power to stay away. They kind of kept me on a piece of elastic at will. And so I realized the pace was so slow that the heavier, more powerful riders were gonna destroy me in a bunch sprint. So I'm afraid to say I had another crack at a breakaway with 1.6 kilometers to go. It failed miserably. And I got overwhelmed with about a third of a lap to go. So I shut it down. So hoping to have a better race today, but I'd appreciate people's advice on the tactics. Because in the chat, post the live streams, it's very clear that I can do a lot better on the tactics. Having put down four and a half watts a kilo in the last race and really made a mess of the final running, I reckon I'm strong enough to place better. Joe, how are you this morning? Loving the Instagram posts. Thank you, Joe. Hopefully, JW, that's the intent, make others suffer rather than me. The pain face will, of course, be fully deployed. And as Niels would say, pain face spoilers max out, or something along those lines. Paul, thanks for joining, good to have you on board. Thank you very much, really appreciate that. The support I'm getting for the channel the real encouragement in the comments and on the live chat. It's really, really motivational. I'm super grateful. I hope to do it justice today. Legs are feeling good and I want to place top three. I'm putting it out there. That's what I want to do. Sean, thank you very much. Yeah, keen today. I had a bad old race yesterday outdoors. It wasn't bad. I chased down four breakaway attempts and put down huge power. 
they were three man breakaways as well but I didn't have the power to go off the front myself and when I did no one joined me and I had a crack I had a breakaway effort with 1.6 kilometers to go didn't go well <laughs> yeah, yeah the pain face the irony is sometimes in zone two the face looks like this Mike good morning how are you happy Sunday Feeling very nervous as always. Now Eric Min, who's the founder of Swift, he's racing today. He's one of the Cat A's. And so that's quite cool. And Yorma, or Jorma, apologies if I pronounced it wrong. Yorma Seaborn, I know you're racing in the Cat C and we follow each other. Good luck if you watch the replay of this. Stephen, how's it going? Yeah, definitely go for that trial, Stephen. Uh, Zwift, it's, it's, such a, it's such an uplifting platform um, to, to kind of ride on, train on, social ride on, and obviously race on. Nice one, Elslo. Turning it into a suffer fest. James, morning to you. Ride on, hope all's well this morning. Come on, Philip. Right. Now, mental note to self. Do not burn self out on the flat section. The damage is gonna be done at around about 11 kilometers where we hit what averages out at a two to three degree kind of gradient climb on the Sequoia's part. But it's undulating. And so it's actually quite hard to ride. <coughs> yeah, two hours zone two. Keep the legs fresh and bring up the FTP the next time you go hard or slow. Respect. Nice one, James. Get on the trainer. And if you're doing hard intervals, kill them. And if you're doing zone two, stay zone two. Yeah, old slow. Given what you've been through in terms of health, the gradual progression you're getting to increase your FTP is maximum respect. Thumbs up. Right. I'm gonna concentrate now to avoid the usual debacle. Ironically, on the outdoor race yesterday, I failed to clip in properly. It took me about 30 seconds. So I was right off the back, about 200 meters off the back right from the off. So I was burning matches 500 watts for about 30, 40 seconds to join back on. I am a proper klutz. Okay, time to start the camera. Let's get the, uh... come on. Civilized. Maybe not. Going to concentrate here and settle as Ed would say. Agnes, thank you for joining. How are you this morning? Am I interrupting the house cleaning? Cheers, JW, JW. Ali, Ali, Ali. So my intent here is to lurk, lurk in the wheels for 10 kilometers. Cheers, Paul, appreciate the support.
But if someone breaks away, what do I do? Do I chase it down? Or do I rely on a bunch? I'm not a very trusting individual. Let's bring the gearing up a bit and the cadence down. Not going on the front, see? Mark, good to have you on board. How's it going? Tactics, tactics. Tell me off when I'm doing badly on the tactics. Where am I? I can't even tell where I am. Am I in the front? No. Nope. Rely on a bunch, okay Mike? This is quite fast, but I feel good. I mean, obviously this is quite easy at the moment. I warmed up with 22 and a half kilometers on a recce ahead of this because I've never really concentrated heavily on the terrain, especially for the sequoias part. So the legs are nicely warmed up. Plenty of warm oxygen in them and warm oxygen holds, sorry, plenty of warm blood. And warm blood holds the oxygen better. I've got a good power up. I'm gonna hold on to that. I think that rider will just be using his power up. Yeah, Chris, I think my borrowers are about 35 to 40 in depth. My Campagnola ones. Yeah, self-isolating, although I did do a race outside, I'm afraid, Mark. I still think it's okay with smaller gatherings. Not so sure about the gym though. Come on, let's get the cadence down. The nice thing about the slightly shallower wheel, they're fine for crit racing in Cat 4 and 3, but good for climbing as well. You don't get hurt by the crosswinds or the extra weight. <laughs> Darren, thank you very much. That's too kind. Although it wasn't Thomas, sorry. My, my hero is Thomas again. I love that guy. Another magnificent ride. He, is the breakaway boss, Le Barador Supreme. Got to concentrate here. Okay, so someone's breaking away. I'm staying with the bunch. No match is burned. Yeah. Because everyone's touching the same kit. Even when you wipe it down, how safe is it? Okay, this is quite hard. Gonna concentrate for a bit, stringing out. That's dangerous. Okay, now, this is hard. Not majorly hard, but it's gonna be emotional 
on the climb. It's quite big watts per kilo being put down, which means there's some lighter riders in this group. By big, I mean five. Cheers, Paul. Good advice. Let's get the cadence down. The Ides of March, yeah. You're an aficionado of Julius Caesar. Little dig at the front there. Six watts a kilogram. Showing their intent for when the gradient really kicks up. That was a bit silly. Cheers, Darren. I'll try and raise a bit smarter than that. Okay, I think so, around about 10 kilometers, 10 and a half kilometers is where the hilly bit starts. Hoping to recuperate here. Dig deep coaching is very good. Got huge power to weight. Trying to keep it below threshold here. Not overreact, which is what I normally do. I'm all right so far, Stephen. My foot hurts after the really long ones though. Left one especially.
Yeah, I'll slow you right. I'm trying not to. It's quite high powered this. It may not look it, but it feels it. Okay, seeing the climb. Not very good at drinking still. <laughs> That's right, Jane. Okay, this is the climb.
emotional.
Wow. Wow. Oh, dear me. <coughs> that was horrendous. Really disgusting. Let's have a look at the power. Oh, hear me. I used to dig very deep for that. Oh, 296 average power over the race. 4.6 watts a kilogram. Happy with that. Let's have a look at the critical power. One sec, sorry. Struggling to function. So, Ed Laverack's polarized training. As you're gonna see in the vlog, includes a lot of 30 30s and 40 20s into threshold, or threshold into 30 30s and 40 20s. <coughs> and what he's doing is getting used to surging, but then recovering at a nasty pace. And as you can see there, in that race, that's exactly what I was doing. So Ed, that is the benefit of the polarized training. Thank you ever so much. It's really, really paid massive dividends just there. I know I only got 11th, but to be honest, I was clinging on by my fingertips about two thirds of the way into that Sequoia climb. And thank you everybody for your support and encouragement. I was watching out the corner of my eye, I couldn't talk, but you know, when you were saying, just hold on another minute, get back on. It gives you the mental willpower, just dig that 2% deeper and latch back on. And so I'm super happy with that. You know, I see that as a really good result, even though it was 11th. And let's have a look. So the 30 minute power, oh sorry, the so 20 minute power, No, the 20 minute power is a lot better than 236. It said so on Zwift. No, that's not working out very well. That isn't right. No way was a 20 minute power 236 when my average power was 296. Okay, so that's a waste of time. Okay, let me... Uh, Exit and warm down, one second. Oh man. All right, one sec. Let's call it back up. Oh dear. That was beyond emotional. Thank you everybody, I can see the comments now. I can actually focus my eyesight. I felt if it was autumn and there was leaves outside, I'd have been sucking them in. I think when I look at my training peaks data, let's have a look at the training peaks data. Actually, that'll give me all the critical power. The nice thing about training peaks as well is that obviously Ed sets all of my uh, workout sessions on training peaks and then looks at the power and it has all the power graphs and all that kind of stuff. And so it's almost like he sets homework and then he can mark it. And so it makes you as a student, obviously accountable, but you want to push that a little bit harder. So here we go. So I've got my training peaks graph. Yeah, so my 20 minute power was 302 watts, that's confirmed. My 10 minute power was 318. 
But it's when I look at the actual map, let's see if we can hone in on the climb, one sec. Let's go to good old Swift Companion. I'm really proud of that. I'm really, really grateful for everybody helping bear me sick. I got Carl oh, Morlet. Sixes and sevens once. So of course it's come up the wrong size. Oh, oh dear me. Right, at last. Let's go and ride. Warm down. Oh, right. So you can see just how spiky the profile was. I mean, that is a horrendous kind of spike, recover, spike, recover, but it's all micro recovery and it's big spiking. I see what my peak power was. Yeah, my max power was only 597. <coughs> so, yeah, I've been higher. Yeah, yeah, McDonald's milkshake. <laughs> you remember, Paul. Thank you very much. And Philip, thank you for joining. I appreciate that. Zone two group ride. That must mean intervals tomorrow, Philip. Thank you, everybody. Scott, yeah, hopefully I'll post something half reasonable on Strava to give people a chuckle. Gavin. Yep, I was feeling a bit of the uh, effort yesterday. Although yesterday the average power, the normalized power was 267, but I had some spikes to 700 watts on a couple of occasions to chase down the breakaway on, it was like a three man break attempt on four occasions. And uh, it was, uh, well, no one else was chasing, so I did. Um, and so I suppose that would have taken out of me. Nice one, Brian. St. Paddy's Day ride. 80 degrees, yeah. Florida. Oh, I love Florida. Hope it's a good ride. Martin. Well, you know, okay, so I'm not following you on... Um, I didn't see you, uh, Martin, in the uh, Swift Companion. Tap me up on Swift Companion, Phil Lovett, and I'll follow you as well. Which, uh, let me have a look at the uh, Swift Power. How did you find it, Martin? Which, uh, let me just have a quick look, one second. Were you in, uh, which category were you in, Martin? Ed, thank you for joining. You missed your threshold into 4020s and 3030s or 3030s and 4020s into threshold being put into action. I was just saying to people, I was able to hang with the front bunch and I got 11th, but it was hugely emotional. And when you look at my power profile, let me show you it actually, Ed. Yeah, I was just saying, I was proud of this piece of homework for you. Look at the spiky profile, Ed. We're talking like massive spikes in power and little micro recoveries, which is exactly what your training's given me. It's given me an engine to cope with the spikes, but also to recover better. And I was just extolling the virtues of this polarized training. So I averaged 296 watts over, I think it was about 29 minutes or something like that, 29 minutes, 28 and a half minutes. Normalized, actually, what was my normalized? The normalizer is going to be a beast. See how excited I am and all these things. Actually, the norm that isn't right. It's oh yeah, the normalizer has been dragged down because I didn't set a lap timer. The normalizer would have been at least 315 or something. Yeah, the pain face is fully deployed, Scott. I promised it would be. But as I say, it does get deployed from zone two onwards. Okay, Martin, let's have a look. How did you place? 
Oh my god, congratulations! Martin, second place. Respect. So you were dishing out the pain to me. That, 342 watts. Let me have a look at your power per kilo. You monster. 4.3 watts a kilogram, so your race craft is better than mine. Wow, -ee. Massive respect, Martin. That is one hell of an effort. And did the, um... Let me have a look. I'm gonna have a look at your power profile. I'm gonna, I can't, because you're still riding. I was, I was gonna stalk your power profile. Hey, Wayne, good to have you on board. Yeah, it was a good race, actually. I, uh, people maybe well, people can maybe attest that I didn't lead out. I couldn't, to be fair, I couldn't lead out because uh, I was clinging on by my fingertips because Martin was dishing out the pain. And um, but very spiky power profile, and I hung with the front bunch, and I got eleventh. But I'm beyond proud of it because it was a really, really tough one to cling on to. Now you have dips and curves. What does that mean, Ed? Does that mean a proper racing profile? Yeah, Ed, I see what you mean, yeah. I saw your first comment, Ed. Yeah, I mean, before, yeah, I mean, this is a very fair point, everybody. Before my approach to Zwift was trying almost time trial every event. And when it surged, I was really struggling. My heart rate would be 180 and it'd be game over very quickly. But now, I mean, yesterday's race, I had a whole minute at 184 and was able to recover and not get dropped. And so here, definitely I saw my heart rate in the 180s for very sustained periods of time. But the moment the power comes off, the heart rate drops. And that means you can cope with these big dips in power and these massive surges. I feel so, so uplifted by that. And from everybody on the chat, thank you ever so much. It's been a really amazing start to Sunday after what was a very disappointing outdoor race yesterday. Sean, how are you? Yes, 11th, and I'm super happy with it. It was a, it was probably one of my best ever races in all honesty, because my race craft wasn't awful. I didn't burn too many matches and it was a very, very fast race. Martin got second, you can see him at the top of the chat there, with a monstrous 343 watt average power complete beast and he was dishing out the pain along with um, dig deep coaching on the uh, the sequoia climb yeah red that's exactly it the races are more like the polarized sessions and that's also because in the polarized sessions as you say in your strava feeds and your instagrams you've got to almost treat your polarized session as like a race or a race prep because that's what gives you the engine to cope with it. Agnes, thank you ever so much. Are you riding today, Agnes? Yeah, it was a fast one, Sean. Fast one, Sean. So Martin, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stalk you now on uh, Strava and um, what is it called, Zwift, uh, Zwift Companion. And whoever follows me, I always follow back and I stalk you and you get little messages from me every so often. I can't obviously comment on everybody, but I love checking out when people have a big ride, whether it's length or pace or whatever. So do follow me on Strava or um, Zwift Companion and I'll follow you back because it's another way we can engage as a community as well as the, crack, the chat on YouTube. And Jane will tell me off if I didn't ask. If anybody's watching that hasn't subscribed, everybody, I'd really appreciate it if you would subscribe, if you like this kind of content and the polarized training blogs that I'm doing relating to Ed's methodologies. <clears throat> Helps the channel a lot. And give it a thumbs up if you like this as well. And if you don't, don't, give it a thumbs down. Josh, how's it going? Yeah, Josh had, um, I think it was his second or third race outdoors, and he's adopted the polarized training as well. I think Ed's working with Josh. And um, as for me, it's a bit of a learning experience when you start going outside because you've got to pick your line carefully. You can't veer off it. You can't always go where you want to go because you'll hit other people. 
and the positioning at the very end is critical because if you're in the middle of the bunch or the back, you're gonna struggle to get forwards. Mark, indeed, live, thrive and subscribe. It's a Blues Brothers um, rip off as it happens. Whoever you are, whatever you do, please remember to live, thrive and survive. That's one of the starting bits to one of the songs, everybody. Alan, how's it going? Are you gonna hit, having had your zone two, the Superman today? Second race, yeah. And next time, Josh, you're gonna be kind of finishing in a bunch and then the next time after that, you might be top nine or 10, which is kind of my profile of progression. And then there'll be some disappointments as well along the way as has very much been the case for me. Hold slow. So what was your race gonna to be today? Your, your, your ride gonna be? It was gonna be two hours zone two, I think, wasn't it? Keeping the legs fresh to drag up the FTP. Is it, oh, it's raining in Hereford. It's actually a right here in London. I would have had a ride outdoors if I hadn't yesterday. Yeah, the Blues Brothers. I used to watch that film time and time and time again, but still, without a shadow of a doubt, maybe other than the Italian job, the, the original Italian job, the best ever car chase. And, and the jury's out on that. It, it'd be a close run thing for me because I used to watch Italian job on my dad's video, his VHS, time and time and time again. Anyway, I really appreciate everybody tuning in. It means a massive amount to me. I'm really enjoying sort of the community we're building. I'm really enjoying the live chats, the comments in YouTube and on Strava, and stalking New Orleans with Companion. So let's keep all of that going. And please remember, whoever you are and whatever you do, live, thrive, and subscribe, and stay healthy as well. Keep the antiseptic flowing. Take care. Yeah, sorry Graham, yeah. I'm under Phil Lover on Strava. As ever, it's a slick ending to a live stream from me. Slick is the name of the game here for Phil Lovett. Yeah, so it's Philip Lovett, I think. Let me double check, actually. Oh, sorry. I should know my own name on Strava, really. But as you'll come to see, I am, yeah, it's Philip Lovett with two L's. And thanks, Graham. Appreciate you following and appreciate the support. See you all later. Take care.